Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this really pretty design to share with you guys. So I just added the top coat so you can see all the shine. And this is a stamping and plus a watercolor design. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, this is actually my right hand. So I use my left hand for this design. And this design is really not too difficult and if you can use your dominant hand, it will be even easier. So I really hope you guys will enjoy this video. I already prepared my nails for this design. As you can see, all of my nails are already done except for the pointer finger which I am going to go ahead and show you on camera. I applied one coat of a base coat, two coats of a opaque white polish, and another coat of a matte top coat to give this matte effect and that is because the watercolor will not stick to a shiny surface. Using a small size brush, wet it with water and pick up your watercolor of choice. Add a blob of blue. Go ahead and let this dry. Watercolor dries pretty fast so this is not going to be very time consuming. Now the blue is dry, we will go to our second color, which in my case is a nice vibrant pink. But of course you can go with whatever color you like. Place another blob of the pink. Go ahead and let it dry. And finally we will go to our third color, which in my case is a bright yellow. Go ahead and add it to the empty space between the two colors. And that is our background. We're gonna go ahead and wait till this is completely dry before proceeding to the next step. So I also want to just show you some quick tips. For my middle finger, as you can see, I actually accidentally stamped on too much. So I have a little bit of that black um, on top of this petal right here, which I really don't want. So I am going to go ahead and show you how to fix that. Go ahead and take your brush and dip into the white acrylic paint and go ahead and paint over those black lines. So that covered up the black lines. However, we have to wait till this is completely dry and use more watercolor to make that space look more colorful. Our next step is to stamp on the flower and I am going to be using the Conat Special Stamping Polish and as well as the Conat Stamper. Uh, for this step, I'm gonna go ahead and do it off camera just because I'm using my left hand to do this and I'm apologize in advance if you wanted to see this on camera I will link one of my other videos down below so you can see how I do this step so there is the flower again I apologize for not being able to film that on camera my left hand is really a little bit a lot more clumsy than my right so for the last step we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the glitter on it to make it even more beautiful I will use one of my favorite glitter toppers this one is from China Glaze Fairy Dust I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know about this polish this is really amazing has the finest and the prettiest glitter I am going to add this glitter polish to the flower Again, I just want to show you guys how I fix some of the mistakes. As you can see on my pointer finger, um, I was missing this petal and it just looked really awkward. So I used a little bit of the acrylic paint to just add the illusion of the petal. And of course, I'm using my left hand to add that so the lines did not come, that, come out that great. But at least we have the hint of that petal. So overall, I am pretty happy with this design. Considering that I did it with my left hand, I'm pretty happy with the result. 